In 1983, the Caribbean, including St. Lucia, witnessed the mysterious death of many black-spined sea urchins. Since then, the coral reef has been overwhelmed and stifled by algae. The urchins which fed on the algae brought balance to the fragile marine ecosystem. And in 1983-4, when that die-off of the sea urchin happened, then the uh, seaweeds bloomed, they came uh, very strong and they, over, they overgrow and they prevent the small corals particularly from getting in, juvenile corals from coming in and, and landing on the bottom. The coral reef is filled with rich nutrients and forms the foundation of coastal and marine life. It also provides a natural defense against weather phenomena and other threats. The story of the black-spined sea urchin was used to illustrate the importance of preserving the coastal and natural environment. A group of researchers, while presenting the results of a coastal mapping survey, urged the seafaring community of Labry to play their part in conserving marine resources. We chose Labry because we feel that Labry is a community that's very connected to the sea. The people here actually participate a lot. They do reef fishing. They actually have um, coral reefs out there where they place their, their fish pots. They do sea moss farming and they actually do, were very instrumental in doing sea urchin harvesting of the white sea egg. Coastal Zone Officer Laverne Walker says the meeting with the residents was a two-way conversation. The Sustainable Development Ministry says it welcomes community insights on delicate issues surrounding the conservation of the coastal habitat. We were told that in some areas, in some cases, they're bathing in beaches. Then where they're choosing to bathe is different over the years because of what they're seeing in some areas. So we've noticed that there's been some change in the coastal community. And even with regard to what they remember when they were children and what they see now. So we think that it's, it's very interesting. It gets people to think about their own habits and what they're doing on the land side and how it's impacted on the marine environment. So. There is good news for the Labry marine ecosystem. According to researchers, since the dark days of the sea urchin in the 1980s, the bay has seen a huge increase in the population of the species. But the positive development is tempered by data that shows an increase in algae and pollutants in surrounding watershed areas. The threat to the biodiversity of the coastal habitat underscores the need for greater awareness and efforts to protect the marine ecosystems. The researchers believe the success of the campaign will be determined by the level of involvement of the people of Labry.